So uh, I'd like to welcome Ted Mondale and Jay Wiener. On the state level, the um, state benefits greatly from the amount of revenue that comes back from a football team. Over 40 years, there'd be a billion eight back. And um, back to the state. And this is not a drink at Hubert's. This is not you know, something that would happen down the way or a hotel, et cetera. It's direct money from players' income taxes and also from activities within the stadium. We have no brand. They talk to entities that are growing across the country and around the world. They go, why would we? What? Minneapolis, St. Paul. What we see on TV is we see a bridge collapse and a dome go down. Why would we ever? And it's cold, right? What's Embarrass Minnesota? They all know Embarrass Minnesota. When you were hired, Mark Dayton said that he wanted a people's stadium. And I called you that day, or you called me as you did the call arounds, and I said to you, what's a people's stadium? You said, hold on. And I think you ran back to find out what he meant by that. Yeah. The stadium should have more pub public benefit than public cost. And that it needs to be a year-round climate-controlled facility. Now, the Metrodome hosts about 300 events a year which is about 10% of the hotel occupancy in downtown Minneapolis, which is a lot. So these investment opportunities we need, need to take advantage of. And so, yes, there's competing priorities, and you don't want to throw the needy out, um, but you, you've got to balance it, and you've got to figure out why.